Just when the roof piece hype couldn't get any more real, we got the staff list for episode 1017. And yo, dude, I recognize like 80% of this list and I don't know this industry. That's how stacked. That is just how stacked this list is, man. Yo, dudes, first and foremost, shout out to Yonko Productions, the big goat, for providing this information for us. Because, bro, <laughs> dude, waking up today and seeing this, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, because we just got 1015, right? 1015, of course, favorite episode, thing was absolutely amazing. But 1017 continued to be hyped up for the past couple of weeks and specifically within the last couple of days. And we had seen Henry Thurlow talk about a future episode being like this, this, this masterclass in coming, right? And now we know it was this one. So first and foremost, let's look at the episode titles. If you are an anime only, do not watch the rest of this video, even though, well, I mean, just skip over, I guess, the titles, because I'm not going to be getting into super specific stuff, but here we go. Just just be careful if you're an anime only, because we're about to get into some episode titles and potential possibilities. And so, episode titles from 1017 to 1020. What we have here is episode 1017, Big Barrage of Skill, The Worst Generation Onslaught. This is going to be the big one. This is this week's upcoming episode. We'll get to the staff list here in a second. Episode 1018, which I, well, so 1017 is going to be the adaptation, I'm going to assume, of the last four pages of, or the rest of the pages of chapter 1001 that were not done last episode, as well as I'm going to assume the entirety of chapter 1002. And then episode 1018, Kaido laughs, four emperors versus the next generation. This has to be the entirety of chapter 1003, which will be really, really nice to see how that's handled. Uh, then... Uh, 1019, Thomas Secret Plan, Operation Kibidongo, Chapter 1004, and then 1020, uh, Sanji Screams, SOS Echoes Throughout the Island, and with the context provided by the last week, or by, or by the last episode, I'm going to assume this one's going to have its own little sequences that are anime only as well. And so, we're going to be getting some, it looks like a lot of chapters adapted for this content, because it looks like it's going to be one chapter, 75% at the very least of all of this. And looks like, so it looks like for the next couple of episodes, we are going to be getting a lot of content adapted. And so then we get into the staff list, y'all. Now I'm going to be focusing mainly only on 1070. All right. Because this is crazy, man. I am shook. <laughs> I'm shook. Like I said, dude, this is crazy, bro. So the staff list for this week's installment of Roof Piece is as follows. 1017 episode director Kohei Kureta and Nanami Michibara. So Kohei Kureta was brought to my attention within the last like 50 episodes or so. This is the individual that is responsible for giving me some, something I'm so weak to within this medium which is whenever we switch from full screen to like the letterbox cinema type of format. There's been a lot of individuals that have done stuff like this within the anime industry, but when I see it, I know it's gonna slap because I just, I'm, I'm a sucker for that type of stuff. And Kohei Kureta has done that throughout the course of the story, or I'm sorry, throughout the source of the past couple of of, of, of installments of Awesome Sauce, like uh, episode 978, for example. I think another one was episode 954. It was the the um, the Kawamatsu episode, like that one. The 978 greatness, which gave me the, the go with the coat uh, legendary image that I always use. Like, he's, he's, been, he's the one responsible for stuff like that. And I have a bit of his uh, history right here. So uh, episode 107, which was the Romance Dawn adaptation, he's always, he, he also did episode 942, a banger. Episode 1000, I mean, come on, man, legendary stuff there. And so episode 870, the Luffy versus Kata Curry, he's the one who directed that episode. And so the man is a legend, 
and I look forward to seeing what he's going to do here. And then we have uh, Nanami Michibata, which I'm going to admit this is the first time I've heard of this individual, and if I have heard this individual before, I completely forgot. And so, Nanami Michibata is responsible for giving us greatness like episode 925, which was the Sanji and Page 1 greatness. And so, looking forward to seeing how those two work together to give us what's incoming. Nanami Michibata, according to the website, has also done episode 956, 983, and 1003. And so, we look forward to seeing what, what Nanami Michibata is going to bring uh, to us here with the the uh, being one half of the episode directors here so once again episode directors Koei Kureta and Nanami Michibata hype hype stuff then we get to the storyboarding and so storyboard now here it says Shuichi Ito but in Yonko's comment he says it's actually Satoshi Ito now I'm not familiar with Satoshi Ito I was familiar with Shuichi Ito I'm not familiar with Satoshi Ito so if you know what Satoshi Ito has done please let me know in the comment section down below because I would love to see what this individual has, has done in the past. But besides that, then we get to Henry Thurlow himself, which has been the one that's been hyping up the incoming awesome sauce. Uh, he is responsible, of course, for that legendary Kanemon scene that we got uh, just recently with, with episode 995, that scene when it goes black and white and he's just going in like somewhere like it's a Kill Bill scene. And that's crazy. And he's also gave us that incredible Luffy scene from earlier on in the arc. I mean, he's, he's done some awesome sauce for this series. And so he's been the voice for a lot of this stuff over there, especially for the English speaking side of our community. So shout out to Henry Thurlow. As he responds to Yonko Productions here saying, yes, finally, after all this time, it's announced. So we kind of put together a dream team. A dream team is an understatement, yo. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. For 1017 with everyone chipping in, this will be my storyboarding debut. On top of contributing a ton of animation, it will be a very good, like epic good episode. And I saw a couple weeks ago, or I don't know, I think that was last week, that uh, Too Young Su, who's also been credited with this saying that he saw the episode and he was just his mind was blown right and so we're in for a banger man but what i like so much about this is that we're going to get his storyboarding debut which i was told in the stream during episode 1015 that was masami mori's um storyboarding debut as well so we're getting some a lot of debuts from legends here right so this is really really cool and he says of course on top of contribu contributing a ton of animation and so it looks like he worked really really hard on this episode can't wait to see what Henry Thurlow has brought for the One Piece greatness. Now, the next name had me shook because this was one of the first individuals that I recognized coming into the community. You know, like uh, Naoto Shishida, for example, who is also going to be working on this week's episode, by the way. Naoto Shishida, from what I was told in the stream that we did in this past week, is working on this week's episode. So we're going to have Goatman Shida working, right? Even though he's not credited here. He is going to be doing some animation for this upcoming episode. So, holy flagnards. Like I said, they're the dream team, right? It's crazy. So, Tatsuya Nagamine. Now, Tatsuya Nagamine is the uh, overall director right now for the series. He's the series director. So, to see him working on this week's episode has me so shook, bro. Because we have multiple series directors working on this week's episode. But the fact that we have Nagamine himself working on this week's episode, who has given us episodes like 892 which was when I first saw that my mind was so blown I was like is this Wano has this in store for us and then he also gave us episode 934 which is one of my most rewatched episodes in the entire series so the man has directed some greatness all right and then on top of the stuff he's worked on of course in Dragon Ball and what have you but Tatsuya Nagamine is a legend and so the fact that he's working on this episode is crazy and then of course Nanami Michi Bottom is also credited with storyboarding here and now this one has me shook, all right? This one has me shook. This, this is a name that I've known for so many years as the Climax animator. Because as somebody who's a massive fan of Luffy vs. Luchi and Luffy vs. Katakuri, right? This individual has given us some of the most iconic sequences in the entire series. And this is, uh, uh, Ishizuka is known as like the Climax animator for Toei, but specifically for One Piece. And so to see that Ishizuka is here too, on top of all of this, right? So we're going to have the individual, just to give you a, a, a just like a, um, some sort of idea. We're going to have the individual who gave us the legendary Purgatory Onigiri from episode 934. 
working on this week's episode, which we all know has a Zoro phenomenal goatness in it, right? So if Ishizuka is working another Zoro scene, we're gonna be going crazy. We're gonna be going crazy, all right? So Ishi Ishizuka, the climax uh, animator of legend. Like I said, I, I I can't believe this is like the first time I've watched I, or I've seen a staff list where I recognize a majority of the names. And when when I when even I recognize the names, that's how you know it's legendary. And so can't wait to see what Ishizuka has in store for us. But it says uh, storyboarding here. So it's interesting that Ishizuka is going to be storyboarding in this week's episode, which I'm going to assume also means providing uh, key animation as well, right? And so this is crazy. All right, this is absolutely insane. And then animation director, Too Young Se, which of course is the individual that I was just uh, talking about, saying that, watched the episode and was like, holy flag narts, this is insane. And this is another one of the names that I recognize coming over from the Dragon Ball side of things. I, whenever Dragon Ball Super was coming out weekly, I was keeping up with a lot of like the staff list and because I, I really enjoyed uh, getting behind the scenes on the, the Dragon Ball stuff, because that was something I watched with, with, with my brother every week. And, um, and I just really enjoyed seeing like the process that went into each, each individual episode. That's when I really started to find out all these, all these names was through Dragon Ball. And so I remembered what Too Young said that for Dragon Ball and of course all of, all of their contributions for One Piece. And I was like, yo, this is crazy. I've, I, as long as I've been doing this, I don't know if I've ever seen a list this stacked. And this is, this is insane. Now, what I'm expecting out of 1017. I think 1017 is potentially going to give us the most fire anime only fighting sequences in the entire series. And I'm fully expecting this to be an episode 870 level adaptation of an action chapter. Like we're going to be getting potentially the best action episode ever and that's ever been done in this series. Because when you have individuals that have done so many legendary moments, so many legendary scenes, and they're all working in one place, that means there's a lot of potential for multiple goaded scenes throughout the course of this uh, episode. And it's going to be crazy, because if it's covering the entirety of this episode, you already know because of how action-packed it is, they need to put in fill-in sequences to, uh, to have everything flow nicely within the anime. And so I'm excited to see how they handle all of that, how they direct all of that. Will my legendary cinema letterbox format return? I hope so. Go ahead, create to put, do your thing. Do your thing, all right? I'm a fan of that. And so if you give me some more of that, I'm in there like swimwear. But to know that we're getting another episode of this quality so soon, right? Like 1015, like I said, was not just me. A lot of other individuals regard that as the GOAT. Right. So to have another episode like that. Now the interesting thing is, is that 1015 from a direction standpoint is without question the goat. But 1017 is going to be from a from an animation standpoint, from a combat standpoint, from a throw in hand standpoint, might just be the the real goat. Right. Like I, out of all the episodes we've got in the series, this could potentially be for years to come the standard when it comes to action animation. And that's really really exciting, man. Because this roof piece, right? Like this is already extremely exciting stuff we already knew that they were going to go in for this but when i saw this list i was like brother <laughs> man and so so many legends working on this one man I, my hype for tevin 17 could not be higher this is this is actually crazy like th this is this is insane man like i said we have three series directors working on this and then on top of that we have individuals who have been responsible for giving us some of the greatest scenes in this series when it comes when it comes to like an animation uh, from an animation perspective, right? Like crazy good scenes that all of us have rewatched on YouTube like a million times. Like these individuals are responsible for a lot of those scenes, and so exciting, exciting stuff. And I don't even know what to say, right? Like this is this is gonna be a banger. Um, the fact, like I said, that we're getting one so soon after ten fifteen is just mind boggling. But it's roof piece time, man. And the hype for Roof Piece now is unfathomable. Like, it was already hype, but now we're taking it even further beyond with this one, man. And so if this is what's in store for this upcoming episode, I don't even want to imagine what the staff list is going to say for chapter 1009 and 1010's adaptation. All right? I don't even want to imagine. I don't even want to imagine because I don't know if it's going to have this stacked of a list, but... We all know how much the entire community loves Chapter 1010. And so 
excited for that, man. I'm excited to see what happens whenever they announce that staff list. Like I said, this is a once-in-a-lifetime level dream team, so I don't expect this entire team to go and do another episode, right? That, that, that's just crazy. And like I said, we don't even have all the names here because I was told that Naoto Shishida is working on this week's episode, so it looks like this week's episode is going to have a lot of individuals working on it that were not even here. So it's it, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, a lot of legends working on this one, man. So that hype for Roof Piece could not be more real. Let me know your hype in the comments section down below for this week's upcoming episode because it is bound to be a legendary one, man. If, from, from the action department, this could very well be the very best that we've seen in this series up until this point. And that's so exciting, bro. Legends, man. I'm talking about legends working on this episode, dude. I can't wait. Y'all have a good one. Let me know your hype in the comments section down below, and I will see y'all next time. Let's go, man. Roofies, bro.